At the Keck Center for Collaborative Neuroscience, different research groups are trying to um, develop different treatments that can alleviate and improve the condition and lives of people who have suffered spinal cord injury. Um, most of the people are using stem cells. And what makes stem cells such a hot topic of discussion nowadays is that they have uh, this great potential called pluripotency which uh, gives them the ability to differentiate into any kind of uh, cell that's present in the adult body. So scientists around the world are trying to figure out ways to control and to understand better this differentiation process so they can engineer cells that can be uh, used for therapeutic purposes. One challenge in utilizing stem cells for therapeutic purposes is that undifferentiated or partially differentiated stem cells can form tumors in vivo. And basically, that's what we are trying to work on to prevent the formation of tumors after transplantation. It's controversial because we're trying to use it for a very different purpose, like um, replacing damaged connections in the spinal cord. We haven't gotten to that point yet. The project is still ongoing, and we're not sure what the outcome will be. So, however, the, the point is that we need to terminally differentiate the cells so they don't form tumors when we transplant them. Our plan is that the cell lineage specific promoters would be active during a um, particular differentiation stage. When treating the cells with um, antibiotic, uh, the cells that have reached that differentiation stage will have those promoters active and they will survive the antibiotic treatment. So um, after we have um, a stable selected non-tumorigenic cell line, we're going to do some um, in vitro testing of the cells to um, check for uh, tumorigenic markers. After we have those uh, cells, we're going to um, hopefully in a couple of months uh, transplant them into the mice. We're hoping to have mouse cells and human cells will also be transplanted into mice. After we do that, we're, we're hoping that um, we'll, we're going to see some functional recovery and uh, we're hoping that the cells will behave normally and they wouldn't form tumors. I joined Dr. Schachner's lab in, in the summer of my senior year. After a long search for a, a fun place to gain practical knowledge at, ever since I've been working most closely with one of her uh, postdoctoral research associates, and I have gained um, a lot of valuable experience and uh, I'm, I met a lot of uh, people who would be good to know once I go to graduate school. The scientific community is um, collaborating like never before, yeah. so um, all these efforts, no matter how minor individually they might look, when, once they're combined, it, it should um, definitely pay off.